what part of don't move the tripod is so hard to understand? This is what happens when you hire people that aren't legally allowed to work in Canada. I'll show you who it is. Unless he's acting, he's not legally allowed to work in Canada. <laughs> Say hi. This is Alex. You guys haven't seen him in a while. He's uh, he's doing well. He's a little um, speech delayed. Um, we yeah. think there might be something in his ear. Still gonna get checked out. He likes eating foam. That's not illegal, is it? Okay. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Love you. I love you. Stop eating foam. You have enough petrochemicals every day, okay? Hi guys, I'm Larry the Butcher. This is Larry Show. Doing something a little different. It's, well, fireside story, I guess it would be. Um, kind of inspired by VinWiki. I need a haircut. I went to go get one today, and they have this app that gives you priority entrance, and I go in and they say it'll still be 40 minutes. So I'm like, uh, no. I got the app for a reason, and this isn't the reason. So, of course, Banquet, I actually like it a fair amount. It's not Guinness, but it'll do. I have some Guinness too, but I don't want to eat my beer right now. Today I was reminded of a story that happened to me 10 years ago. So, I was the assistant meat manager at a store somewhere in southern Ontario. And we had a full service counter and we took pride in it and we were really, really good at it. And we had this competition kind of a stupid competition where um we would put the times how long it would take us to put it in perfect and we would take pictures of it so the record was like two hours and 15 minutes and we would start at six store opened at eight and this was a sunday morning and it was my job on sundays to do the full service count It was wiped in the morning, it was almost empty, and I, I just, I just looked down, did my job, two hours without customers, I'm like, I can do this, I can set an unbeatable record. The store opens at 8, and I'm getting it done, it's like 5 after 8, and I got one thing to do, I got a lamb rack. When I'm holding the lamb rack, I'm holding it like this, I'm holding it like this against the saw. So the saw blade is like right here, and my hands are on either side, and if, so if I'm looking down, and I'm, my, if my complete focus is on that saw blade, it is totally safe to do, but I don't recommend that you do it. So I'm doing it, the lights had just come on in the customer area, okay? And now, you couldn't even count to five, and there's a guy, I want service! I lost focus. I stop for that brief second. I look up. I look over at him. And as I look over at him, do you know how they say when you drive, the way you look is the way you turn? Well, I look, and this thumb went ju just moved a little. And I thought I had grazed the side of the blade. Now, you can graze the side of the blade, and it'll feel like you've been cut. It feels like a burn. And you look at it. And I thought that's what I did. Turns out I didn't. I look at him. I knew I had grabbed, I knew I'd, I had touched the blade, but I didn't think I'd cut myself. I look at him. I look down, I see nothing. And then I look at him again, and then I look back down, and I'm bleeding. And I don't know, can you tell? You can see right there. Oh, yeah. oh, cut. Oh, it is. Say hi, Brandon. Hi. Say I'm Brandon. I love my dad. I love my dad. I like Halloween stuff. <laughs> he likes Halloween stuff. Say, I like sprint cars. I do like sprint cars. Yes, you do. <laughs> he had a huge smile. So I start bleeding. And um, let's One say second. I like sprint cars. <laughs> bye bye. Let me finish my story, okay? I'm almost done. Yay, sprint cars. <laughs> So let, let's say the rapper's name was Diane. It wasn't Diane. 
I'm kind of protecting the identity because I'm not telling you really where anything is. And I'm like, Diane! Daddy. And I yelled it. I yelled Daddy. it as loud as I could. Daddy. I need to talk. So I yell as loud as I can. I go, Diane! And everybody in the store, there was like a dozen people, most of them staff, looked. Some of them were like 60 feet away. It was a big store. She's like, yeah? She had that kind of voice. She smoked seven packs a day. <laughs> Diane goes, what's wrong? And I'm like, I fucking cut myself. I said it as loud as I could and I looked straight at the customer. And the customer went and, said, went and went, oh shit, and ran away. There's two takeaways to this story. And I, I hope, I hope, if you are a veteran, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you are a, an apprentice in the industry, please listen to me. When you are using a bandsaw, the only thing that matters in the world is the bandsaw. Um, and as much as I believe that, that if it doesn't benefit the customer, it shouldn't be done, and that I the customer comes to your counter, you should be right there. Nine times out of ten, I am. And the other takeaway, if you are a customer, and you hear what sounds like a bandsaw running, a bandsaw is probably running. And please understand that although there are safety precautions that we take, there are some that we can't use because it would actually be worse. If I had worn a glove, I would have lost my whole hand. Um, I didn't, and actually, um, they offered to take me to the um, walk-in clinic, and it it went in it went into the bone as gruesome as that sounds. So as gruesome as that sounds, um, I treated it with some antiseptic ointment taped it up. They offered to send me to the hospital. I said, you're down two cutters today. Which is a common trend in the industry these days. Nobody wants to do this. Because we make half of what other trades do. I love my kids. Come here, Alex. Come here. Come here. Oh, come on. Say hi. Say hi, Alex. Say hi. Oh, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Okay, take it. All right, he's better. He got his block back. If it sounds like a bandsaw is operating, a bandsaw is probably operating. Um, I could have lost my whole hand if I was wearing a, um, a chainmail glove. Uh, that could have been so much worse in so many different ways, and I'm just grateful that. Um, nothing seriously happened other than going into the joint of my bone. There's no, there's no like residual effect. I got, it's, it's like into the joint and Ben's okay, didn't heal wrong. So I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate and uh, you know, I, um, I was offered to go to the hospital. I turned it down. I went, had a coffee and I went back to work. Put a glove on it. A vinyl glove. Um, I don't think it bled a whole lot. So every time I do a lamb rack, I remember this story. Every time someone comes too close while I'm on the saw, I remember this story. Every time someone yells at me from the full service counter, I remember this story. This story will live me with me forever. And I hope that, like I said, that you... I'm alone next week. I have no one in the house. I'll be able to shoot a lot of videos uninterrupted because, you know, I don't have a studio. I'm not big enough yet to have a studio. One day I will. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has educated you. And I need another beer. See you later. I love you all. Bye.